action. Welcome. Today, we're going gas station shopping. We're gonna find out if this white wine, the Barefoot Pinot Grigio, is a boom or a bust. Stay tuned. All right, we're here at the gas station, about to pick up a good, nice gas station white wine. All right, let's see what we got as far as gas station wine. Dang. Got some good wine up in this. It's more grocery store stuff. I want something that's like gas station, straight up. Gas station wine. Vindage, that's a pretty good one. We got a little Sutter, Sutter House, I like to call it. Um, I wonder if they have the foot. Ah, there we go. A little Pinot Grigio foot. Don't fake the foot. Let's do a little foot. Welcome back. We're here with the Barefoot Pinot Grigio. We're gonna find out if this is a good gas station find. Now, one of the things that kind of attracted me to this wine was the gold sticker. I mean, San Francisco gold medal. As an old mentor used to tell me, the green is for the monies, but the gold is for the honeys. And I truly believe that because this wine is actually a chick magnet. A lot of girls and women like to drink this wine, so interested to see if, if all that holds true. Let's check this wine out. First thing I notice is the light color. This is a Pinot Grigio, so it's in a... Um, also known as Pinot Gris, for those who are in, in Oregon, they, they produce a really nice Pinot Gris in or Oregon in the Willamette Valley. Uh, this is a, looks like a little bit more of a lighter version of a Pinot Gris. Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris are the same grape. Um, Alsace, Alsace, France also produces a, the, uh, a wine with the same varietal. Uh, so it's a popular wine varietal and it's known for its easy drinking, it's usually very light, uh, floral, fruity, and nothing overly complex, very light body, something that you can have pretty much all year round with light dishes and warm weather. So let's check this one out. Light color, I mean, it's not even a pale straw. This is like, this is like, a, I don't know, a, maybe a hint of yellow. Um, so super light color there. Uh, let's give it a sniff. Okay, this is a fruity, it's got a fruity nose, uh, a little bit of citrus, some tropical flavors. I'm getting this interesting banana kind of component too, more like a, a banana now and later, like banana Laffy Taffy. That's what it is, banana Laffy Taffy. Not straight banana, but like candy banana, the round candy banana, banana Laffy Taffy. Green apple, which is typical from Pinot Grigio. And then I am getting a little bit of like steel, a little steel, maybe a little like auto body shop. Like if you walk into an auto body shop, you get that little bit of a, uh, it's not a natural smell, it's more of a chemical smell. I'm getting a little bit on this wine. Let's give it a whirl. And for those of you who don't know, no spit bucket for this boy. Homie don't play that. Um, okay, this very fruit forward, kinda. Um, I'm getting a little bit of pineapple crushed soda action on this wine. Like the soda, I'm getting a little bit of that car little carbonation going on there. Um, I am, there is a little bit of tropical kind of citrus go thing going but other than the pineapple crush lemon heads i'm getting lemon heads on on the on the front end here a little bitter little tart 
Um, one more time. Lots of soda action going on here. Bitter on the back end from that, I guess it's that auto body coming in. A copper penny, take a copper penny and put it in your mouth. Take a crushed soda, a pineapple crushed soda, drink it, then put a copper penny in your mouth and that's what you get from this wine. Bitter on the back end or just throw your throw your chain in your mouth. I mean, when you're sucking on your chain, that, that's, that's pretty much what this wine is. It's um, it's not very balanced wine, although it's it's serviceable in the right conditions. I will say that a lot of people enjoy this style. This is a July Fourth wine when it's hot. It's like 110 degrees outside, and you know you have to bring something, but you don't want to bring anything you want to enjoy because you know it's going to be hot. This is that wine you want, to, you want to bring to your July 4th picnic because you can sip on it and you can have a little wine to drink. But other than that, I'm gonna to have to give this wine 78 points, um, a huge pass at $7 at the gas station for me. I would much rather just pay a couple more dollars and kind of get into another, another range of, of wines that I know that were um, a little bit more palatable. But that's not to say it's not a wine for you so um thanks everybody for joining me today love you guys peace